How's it going, YouTube? This is Trainer JI, and today we have the Monday Weekend Sales Recap. How's everybody doing? Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you're having a good Monday, and hope you have a good rest of your week. Uh, what's up? How's everybody doing? Uh, I did post the 1,000 subscriber Q&A video this past uh, Saturday here. Uh, if you didn't check it out, go check it out. Uh, it's just a bunch of talking, rambling. I show a little bit of stuff off, but to be honest, it was pretty uh, nonchalant, casual, uh, nothing crazy, just answering questions that people asked, and uh, yeah, I guess showing my face and talking for an hour and a half. So if you find that that is potentially exciting, go check it out. If not, well, stay tuned for this one. Uh, yeah, overall, decent sales weekend. Nice variety of stuff here. A lot of singles as usual, which again, makes sense because that's what I'm grinding out right now. Uh, if you want to skip ahead five minutes, it's probably where about, about the five minute marks where I'll jump into the actual prices, everything. Um, but I'm going to go over a few things beforehand. Um, again, 1,000 subscriber Q&A is up. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, this week, you will be getting a... Oh, uh, yeah, an opening video. I have an opening video already uploaded, and I'm going to do a What Did I Buy series video as well this week that'll go up on probably either Friday or Saturday. I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking maybe Saturday. But either way, you're going to get two more videos this week. Um, next week, we're closing in on Thanksgiving. I will be doing the Friendsgiving um Giveaway, bonus, all kinds of random stuff. I'll do a video on that the night before Thanksgiving to give all the details and everything you need to know in order to get some freebies with any of your purchases. I also will be running a way larger than normal sale that weekend as kind of like a Black Friday type deal that'll kind of go into the following week. Um, I will be trying to collaborate with a couple people like Pokemon Steven, um... Thunder Moo, maybe even Coop, if Coop wants to do it, because I'm pretty sure Coop has an eBay store. Visor Pokemon, uh, Tom Collects, a bunch of these guys. I'm going to see if they want to do a um, extra coupon for anybody that watches these videos. I'm sure they'll probably be running a sale for Black Friday too, but um, basically the way I did it last year was uh, I put a link in the description to go to anybody's uh, anybody's store that, that I was doing a collab with, and if you did and you used the coupon that they provided just me, you would get an extra discount. So stay tuned for that. Maybe some of those guys have something you're looking for. Uh, I got to talk to them too. So don't. it's not a guarantee that they want to be involved in it. But they did. a bunch of them did do it last year. So I'll uh, hop in our Discord and we'll see. <clears throat> uh, what else is going on here before we jump into this? I thought there was more that I wanted to say, but I mean... In, when I don't want to say things, I do. And when I do want to say things, I don't. It's amazing how it works out, right? Oh, if anyone did watch the 1,000 subscriber Q&A, if you guys want a face cam at some point, like, I don't know why people like that, but they do. I mean, to each their own. So if you want a face cam, you want to see my face as I react to everything and see things, I mean, um, you're not going to get too, too much. Well, I don't know. I get excited when I see certain things, but... Um, I can try to rig that up. I probably should try to rig up a permanent setup here still um, rather than just the drop down. Well, I want to do drop down style no matter what, but I might have to talk to some people. I know Steve, Pokemon Steven, does, uh, he has two webcams, one for each. Um, we'll talk to him and maybe I'll get that set up if, if that's something everybody wants. But yeah, overall, um, just a quick update there again. Friendsgiving update on the big sale coming up will be out Wednesday. I am grinding out singles at the moment. Uh, I'll be, I just got into electric type or lightning type, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm almost through the old back, uh, old back versions of those. So I'm going to grind out lightning this week, try to get into fire and maybe grind that out this week. And then starting next week on Monday, I'm going to grind all graded up until uh, the Thursday sale starts. So ton of stuff hitting the store. Big sale coming up, potential sale on our extra bonus discount on some of our, uh, some of my friends' uh, sites. And also, you'll be getting a larger than normal discount for Black Friday weekend. But then on top of it, you'll be getting um, free freebies uh, with, with your orders. Um, and it starts at $20 already, and you get probably like a $5 card. So stay tuned for that. Um, 
Wednesday that video will be coming out. Um, not this Wednesday, the following Wednesday, I need to specify. And again, you'll be getting two more videos this week. So there's the five minute mark. Anyone that skipped ahead, you did well. Let's jump into this. Get set up here. Total for this weekend was $1,095.24. As always, that does not deduct eBay fees, shipping costs, taxes, etc., etc. That is simply the gross amount for what you see in front of you. Let me get my other page pulled up and then we'll get the light turned on and then we'll jump into this and get rolling. I don't know what it is. This is a new play mat for the week. Um, I, it feels like softer and I don't know if it's just the colorway or what it is. I mean, it's obviously sick with the Pikachu ride and the Dragonite, but like it just, I don't know. It feels soft. I don't know. I just keep wanting to touch it. I don't know. All right. Zoom in a little bit here and let's get rolling. All right. First up, we have Arceus Legend pre release promo from SP, near mint condition, $7.99. Really good promo here. Um, you got all the Pokemon hanging out. We got the Bidoof. We got the Beautiflies, Arceus. What this? Are these Starlies in the background? Uh, I think that's it but you never know it could be something else hiding there somewhere all right we have a top half of the lugia legend pieces light play from soul silver collection 35 dollars and 99 cents um amphros ex from rulers of the heavens near mint 27.99 beautiful card swirl is almost in the most ideal place if it was i probably would have kept that copy uh, we have glaceon spiral force hollow rare Near Mint, 1899. We got the bottom half of the Suicune and Entei Legend piece from Reviving Legends. Damage condition, 1279. Nice roll on this copy. Top half of the Palkia Dialga Legend from Clash of the Summit. Um, heavy play, $17.59. Bottom half of the Lugia Legend, uh, Soul Silver Collection, moderately played, 2879. We got Glaceon, level X. I guess I gotta scroll down a little bit, huh? <coughs> Excuse me. Glaceon, level X. Damage condition, $11.19. This is from Dawn Dash. And then we also have the, well, censored, but beautiful card other than that. Uh, we also have the Hollow Rare from Dawn Dash Glaceon, moderately played, $13.59. Got Chuck Staros, VS Series, moderately played, $4.79. Uh, Lieutenant Surge's Lantern, VS. This is all going to be VS here, so we're not going to say it again. Lieutenant Surge's Lantern, Near Mint, eleven ninety nine. Uh, we got Janine's Beedrill. No, it's not in the card. It's on the sleeve. Near Mint, fifteen ninety nine. Price's Cloister, moderately played, four seventy nine. We have Whitney's Furret, light play, seven nineteen. Uh, prices Lapras, and this is the Trainer's Mag version, not the VS series, was VS series version, and again, I've said this before, but the easiest way to tell, if it's unlimited, it's the Trainer's Mag, if it's got a first edition stamp, it's VS, but excellent condition on this copy, $11.99. We have Erica's Blossom, I really love this card from VS, Near Mint, $19.19. .19. Um, Whitney's Wigglytuff, Light Play, $11.99. I'm really running, well, I can't say that. I'm running low on the VS that I have listed, but I do have a chunk of VS to list at some point down the road here. But we're, we're, we're taking things one step at a time. We're making progress. That stuff will probably be, who knows, three months, three months-ish from now or something like that. But we're getting stuff done. We're getting stuff listed. All right, next up we have Jolteon, Character Rare from VMAX Climax, Near Mint, $5.59. Uh, we have the Feraligator here. Um, you can't quite, well, you can see the stamp peeking out here. This is the Totodile um, Neo Intro Deck version with the Totodile stamp. Lot, I guess I can't see rare, but, well, kind of, technically rare and also more valuable than what the regular premium file version would be, but... Near mint on this copy, $23.99. It just kind of gives it an extra layer with the Totodile stamp. I definitely like that. All right, we got Melodic 
from Undone Seal, Heavily Played, 1039. Kingdra EX, Rulers of the Heavens, Moderately Played, 1039. Darkrai from Shining Darkness, Moderately Played, 959. We have Salamence VMAX. I really do like the VMAXs, to be honest. They're starting to really grow on me. Um, they just have a... I mean, it's bland, but at the same time, it's still good, if that makes sense. I think maybe they'll age well. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about them in um, three, four years. Maybe even two years. I don't know. Uh, depends what's going to come out next, too. That's right. I mean, you got to think about 2025 should be, should be the next gen of Pokemon, right? Unless they skip a year. I don't know. A lot of things to look forward to, that's for sure. But anyway, Salamence VMAX, Infinity Zone, PSA 10, $39.99. That is the first stack. We've got our second stack here. We have a Merrill Soul Silver Collection Reverse Foil, Near Mint, $11.99. Then we have the Merrill from Town of No Map, Light Play, $4.79. Magikarp, Stormfront, Moderately Played, $3.03, 303. This is a fantastic Kamiya artwork. Uh, Pikachu, Dream League, PSA 10. Really great card. Pretty iconic. I mean, these were the first of the character rares to come out. And when people saw this, they went absolutely nuts, which, I mean, I mean look at it. I mean, if you, you... I understand we have some insane character rares now, but they were... This was a wild time when these first came out. Um, again, Pikachu, Dream League, character rare, PSA 10, $79.99. We have Typhlosion, Golden Sky, Silvery Ocean, Light Play, $13.59. Uh, we have, this is actually an Eevee, but you're, all you're seeing is your boy's feel here. Um, this is the Eevee-friendly shop campaign promo from SMP. Near Mint, $23.99. They did a ton of Eevee. I mean, they do a ton of Eevee promos now, but SMP had a wild amount of Eevee. Pikachu promos of all sorts and kinds with different campaigns. I think that's what I liked about SMP a lot. There were just so many wild, like, random Eevee Pikachu promos. Um, I don't know if that was... Was that when the Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu uh, games came out? Maybe that's why. But there's just a ton of random promos, and they're all, like, kind of cool in their own way. Uh, Garchomp Level X. Dawn Dash. Moderately played, 1119. We have the Empoleon Level X from Space Time Creation, heavily played, $7.99. Beautiful foiling on this one. Uh, we have another copy of the Lapras. Uh, this, again, is the Trainer's Mag version. Light Play, $9.59. Scroll down here. All right, we got the Meowth, Koro Koro, glossy promo. Um, excellent condition, $8.79. And we have the Poke Parks Torchic. Uh, this is from PCGP. Excellent condition. 11, yeah, 1119. 11.99. We got your boy, Big Sfeel, hanging out with his Sfeel brethren from Secret of the Lakes. PSA 9, 39.99. Now, this card is an interesting case study here. Um, I think in the last probably six months, I've sold a PSA 8 a PSA 9, and a PSA 10 copy of this card. Meanwhile, I have a ton of quote-unquote popular and rarer cards that haven't sold in, I mean, even probably over a year. Um, that is just one of those things that proves that certain cards have popularity and certain Pokemon have a following and popularity. And it doesn't matter that this is a common from this set. How rare they are, um, it doesn't really matter at all. It's it's the desirability a lot of times. I mean, something could be a one of one. There's only one in the world, but if nobody wants it, then what is it worth? I mean, I guess if there's one person out there that really wants it that bad, um, but it's not like there's going to be a bidding war on something like that. So uh, I think the biggest shift in the last like five, six ish years is just this, you know, I get it. Like, should certain things be more valuable than others? Yes, because of rarity. And but there needs to be an added level of desirability there. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter. And on the flip side, you can have things that are less rare like this. But, I mean, where are you going to find? I mean, maybe there's another Sphere Seed of the Lakes on eBay right now. I really don't know. But where are you going to find it? I mean, where, are you going to find a mint near mint copy at your local shop? No. 
So you got to order from Japan. And are you going to get a near mint mint copy from Japan? Maybe, maybe not. But how much are you going to pay to get it? And then on top of it, you got to pay to grade it. And then you got to hope it comes back a decent grade. So what I'm trying to get at here is this stuff is unique in its own way. Um, common, uncommon, rare, non-hollow stuff. Um, it's definitely garnered some appreciation a lot more over the last couple of years. And I think it is well-deserved. And this is a perfect example. Again, three copies all in different grades over the last like three months, six months, something like that. Um, I think it just says a lot about where the hobby is and what people actually want. And I think it's good. I like that. I, I, I mean, this is the kind of stuff I like. I mean, this is an awesome card. I was sad when I sold the 10 because I kind of wanted to keep it. If it would have sat for long enough, I probably would have unlisted it and put it in the collection. Um, and it's good it didn't because why do I need a PSA 10's feel in the collection? But I'm happy this is going to a good home. A little bit of a rain and tangent there, but just something that kind of crossed my mind when I saw that this sold and thinking about um, the previous copies it sold. But PSA 9 in this one, $39.99. It looks like it's going international, so wherever it's going, enjoy your card. This is an absolutely fantastic artwork by Kazuki. And this feels a good Pokemon, too. Oh, uh, we got Kingdra EX, Rulers of the Heavens, moderately played, 1039. <laughs> Uh, Mimikyu Dream League. We got a couple Dream League promos in here. It's funny. I, I listed a couple, since fixing my PC, I listed a couple graded cards last week that I had already had scans for um, that have just been sitting by because I've had such an issue with my PC. And lo and behold, I think what Pikachu sold, this sold, I think another one sold in here in less than a week. Um, all it is is just takes getting it listed and that's that's been my biggest issue so gotta get it listed but we got Mimikyu here from dream league psa 9 27 dollars 99 last stack cruise through this i haven't taken up too much of everybody's time today we're at about 17 minutes but there's still there's still time for a longer tangent than what we just had we'll see all right we have articuno to the frontier uh this has the sparkle foiling on i think you can see it shimmering uh, it's really tough to see these you can never see it in scans but just know um, there's no other version of these from like modern times so if it's beat of the frontier um anything from uh platinum era and then even into some of diamond and pearl with the shinies they all have this type of foiling um it just it really does not come up on scans and photos well um, but there is no other version other than the original versions of some of this stuff. But Beat of the Frontier, Articuno, Near Mint, $31.99. And then we also have the Zapdos, Beat of the Frontier, excellent condition, $27.19. Again, you can see the sparkle foiling. Ludicolo, Miracle Desert, Light Play, $7.99. Beautiful card here. I think I tried to show this off last week, and there was one with a sticker in the front on the sleeve. Um, you got the Lombres, and you got the Low Tads in here, and then you got Ludicolo dancing around. I don't know. Just a really good card. Uh, fantastic Kamiya artwork. Which, speaking of Kamiya, if anyone's playing Pocket, check out the Kamiya Golbat in Pocket. That thing is wild. Kamiya is just fantastic. All right, and then we flip to the other side, and we also have the Ludicolo, uh, Ludicolo uh, from Plasma Gale in near mint condition, 479. I love Ludicolo. I definitely ran a Ludicolo in Ruby and Sapphire. But, um, yeah, I mean, Ludicolo is a great Pokemon. It just is. And he's, like, super upbeat. And isn't that, like, an attack, too? Upbeat? Maybe. I don't know. He's awesome. That's all we're going with here. Weasel. Collection Challenge Prize promo. Believe it or not, this is, like, a kind of, like, pseudo mini prize. Um, this is from DPP. Excellent condition. 639. We have some Mythical Dream Shine collection cards and Legendary Shine collection cards here. And then, well, I guess I can just say the title as I go because I didn't realize they're not all the same. But anyway, Arceus, Full Art, Mythical Dream Shine, Light Play, $15.99. These are also tough. They The, the sparkle foiling on these doesn't show up too, super well on scans either. But I assure you, it is there. We have the Regigigas, uh, Legendary Shine collection, Full Art, near Mint, $14.39. Black Kiram. Legendary Shine Collection, Near Mint, $15.99. And then we have the Umbreon and Darkrai from Tag Team G uh, GX All-Stars, Heavy Play, $15.99. you're going to say, how is this thing Heavy Play? Well, your guess is as good as mine. The front actually looks really clean on this thing, but the back is absolutely just scratched to hell. Um, that's why it's listed as Heavily Played. I mean, you're, if you're putting this in a binder, um, you're going to get a really nice face. But yeah, uh, 
there's just weird things that happen sometimes when you get cards in and this was definitely one of those it's like wow like because i would have got this a long time ago too and uh, maybe some kid had it in his pocket uh, maybe i mean but then again it would be bent and stuff so i don't know anyway it's heavily played don't know what happened to it but 15.99 is what it sold for which is probably a bargain for that card because you're not gonna find many not near mint excellent copies of that and then like so therefore you're never gonna get a chance to really buy it that cheap very often uh we got salamence level x advent of arceus moderately played 15 dollars and 19 cents no one thing i will say about this quick this brings up the perfect example of why you condition scan stuff even from like sun and moon era and we're getting to the point now where you're gonna have to start really condition scanning stuff from um sword and shield era before you either a send it into grading or look or list it as near mint um again perfect example somebody might get this and be like oh gotta be near mint listed for sale well not heavily played all right, anyway, again, Advent of Arceus, Arceus. This is the normal type one, excellent condition, $15.19. And then I, maybe I said this already, but we're just gonna do it again. Salamence Level X, Advent of Arceus, moderately played, fifteen nineteen. Here's another one of those Dream League characters that I listed. We have the PSA 10 Weavile, uh, $31.99. We got Melodic, EX, Water Quick Pack, Excellent condition, $29.59. Ladyba, Southern Islands, excellent condition, $7.99. I thought this was random that these two sold back to back from different people, and different people bought them. But we have the Janine's Drill VS series, moderately played, $7.99. Just want to make sure that is the moderately played copy. So when I pack them, they get packed correctly. And then again, we have another Janine's B drill from VS series. Near mint on this one, $15.99. We have a Meowth Daiichi Pan promo. Scroll down a little here. Uh, from BWP, Light Play, $8 flat. And then we have this fantastic War Turtle from the Squirtle VHS deck. Excellent condition. Uh, $18.39. Again, I mean fantastic Kazuki artwork once again. We have the Suicune Legend Perfect Set promo from LP, moderately played, eleven ninety nine. Um, Rocket Sneasel Coral Coral Comic promo, light play, five fifty nine. We'll talk a little bit about this one then. Uh, we have the Japanese Beware Ash First Team Rocket Deck Kit, excellent condition, thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Now, we'll talk about this just because this is the last card. Let's just go through this. We've got the Hoopa Full Art Movie Ticket Promo, Light Play, $26.99. I'm going to stick this here just so I make sure I put them in the right order. But this, $39.99, you're saying, why is this card $40? Well, this is another perfect example of uh, desirability. I mean, this is a very unique card. Um, they This was a very unique deck. It's very expensive because of the Pikachu GX in it, and also people like the Mimikyu. Uh you only get one per deck you have to buy the deck and i mean it just i mean the decks are extremely expensive so when you have a unique card like this even though beware is not necessarily maybe everybody's most favorite pokemon or most popular pokemon um it's one of those things where this has desirability and i don't know what the dog's barking at but he's pumped um yeah, it has desirability, and in some sense, it does have a little bit of rarity because, I mean, you can't you can't just go out and buy the deck for, like, a couple bucks and get the card out of it. Um, it's expensive to buy the deck, and you don't see this card too often on a lot of Japanese sites. So, again, uh, this is a perfect example of why you need to price check. A lot of people just see this if they get it in a lot and just list it at, like, a couple of dollars, and then it's going to sell instantly, and they're going to wonder why. And they're going to miss out on the opportunity. Price checking is always important. It doesn't mean you need to be exact on every single thing. But check what stuff's worth. Don't undercut yourself. And don't overcut so that something doesn't sell. Price check. You'll know what something's worth. It doesn't take long. And come up with a system where you can price stuff like I do based on condition. I have a excel sheet that literally i look up what something sold for in near mint condition i plug it in and then it gives me what i feel is a appropriate price um, for each condition starting from excellent light play moderately played heavily played all the way down to damage i have it set up so that it takes a percentage off of each one and that gives me what i feel like is an appropriate price for each condition 
Again, price check, it's important as a seller. It's also important for your, your buyers, your customers, because you know if something's too expensive, it's just gonna sit and never sell. So price check, do it. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this Monday weekend sales recap. Again, total for this weekend was $1,095.24. Anybody that purchased, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you. If you're a repeat buyer, as always, I do recognize you. I do see you. Thank you for your repeat business. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you reached this far, uh, make sure to check out the 1,000 subscriber Q&A that I just posted over the weekend. Make sure to stay tuned, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday for the Friendsgiving round. This is year two Friendsgiving thing where I'm going to um, give away cards based on your order total for the weekend and also be running a massive sale that I don't usually run but basically once a year and you'll get an extra discount if you're a subscriber and you leave me a message again that don't worry about getting the details now you'll get all the details not this Wednesday but the following and um yeah a lot of stuff to look forward to you're gonna get another two videos this week and yeah we're rolling we're cruising things are good as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment down below, or don't. But either way, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you.